Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing on the topic acid bases and indicators and we are going to be looking at um, the introduction bit of what acids are, what bases are and what indicators are. We are also going to look at some of the examples of acids and some examples of indicators and some examples of bases. So acids are usually substances that dissolve in water to release hydrogen ions. So if you put any acid in water, the acid is going to release hydrogen ions. These hydrogen ions are the ones that give acid their distinctive pro property. Acids can be organic or mineral acids. So some of the organic acids that are uh, known are these are the acids that are found in plants and animals. So any acid that is in animals or in plants is usually referred to as organic acids. And some examples are, for example, we have lactic acid in sour milk. So when milk is allowed to ferment, whatever acid is in the sour milk is usually referred to as lactic acid. And then we have also citric acid. Citric acid is usually in citrus fruits like oranges. We also have uh, lemons, also have citrus acid. We have ethanoic acid. This one is majorly found in vinegar. Vinegar that is used, that is used uh, for baking. It can be used for cleaning. And then we have tartaric acid. Uh, this is also in baking powder. And, and then we have methanoic acid that is in B and ant stings. It is important that you remember this methanoic acid. We are going to be mentioning it later when we talk about uh, some of the applications of this discussion that we are going to be having. And it is good to know that B stings and ant stings actually contain acidic properties. And the acidic solution in them is referred to as methanoic acid. And then we have tannic acid. This tannic acid is the one that is in tea. Also, we said acid can also be grouped into mineral acids. So mineral acids are usually made from uh, minerals containing elements such as sulfur, chlorine, and nitrogen. And some of them are usually are formed from reactions examples are sulfuric acid and you can see that comes from sulfur it contains sul hydrogen sulfur and oxygen and then we have hydrochloric acid which contains hydrogen and chlorine it comes from the element chlorine and then we have nitric five acid uh, which contains hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen, which comes from the nitrogen um, element. Next, we are going to look at what bases are. Bases are substances that dissolve in water to release hydroxyl ions. For acids, we say they release hydrogen ions. For bases, is hydroxyl ions. And this is what gives them that bitter taste. It's what gives them that distinctiveness as bases. And some of the examples of bases we have is sodium hydroxide. This is majorly used uh, for making soaps and detergent. We have ammonium hydroxide for making fertilizers and softening hard water. We are going to come across uh, ammonium hydroxide later when we get to form 3 work and we are going to be looking at specifically how it is formed and how it is used uh, to uh, make fertilizers. We also have magnesium oxide, hydroxide. This is a very common antiacid. It is used to treat indigestion, especially uh, when uh, people have heartburn uh, caused by the acid, hydrochloric acid in the stomach. So uh, my magnesium hydroxide is used to make this anti-acid tablet. So it, there is a process that happens. We are going to discuss what happens and why magnesium oxide is really used as anti-acid and how it helps. There is also potassium hydroxide. Uh, similarly, like sodium hydroxide, it is used for making soaps and detergent. And then we have also calcium hydroxide, 
also calcium oxide as well which is used to um, lower the pH of the swell and then uh, also to note that some of these bases are usually soluble in water others are not soluble in water and the ones that are soluble are referred to as alkali uh, bases uh, next we are going to talk about indicators so indicators are usually substances that give a definite color in acids or basic solution so these are substances that enable or tell us uh, something is acidic or basic how do they do that when you put them in an acid they give you a specific color when you put them in a in a base they give you a specific color these colors are never the same colors so that distinction is the one uh, is able to tell us this is an acid and this is a base and uh, it usually determines um, just like we have said an acid or a base and we usually refer to them acid base indicators because they help us to distinguish between what an acid is and what a base is so some of the indicators that are there in the market are um, are like litmus paper, phenophthalene. We are going to come to that later, methyl orange. So those are some of the indicators there uh, in the in the market. But we are also going to discuss uh, about these different types of indicators. So as per, uh, when it comes to the colorations in acids and in bases, we also see that different indicators will give different colors in different acids and bases there are some that are uh, recommended to use and there are some that are not that are recommended we are going to see that difference also uh, as we continue with the topic and just like i said our indicators can be made uh, locally and they can be made commercially so we also see that distinction along the topic as we move on so let's do one question that helps us to understand what we have been learning in regards to the introduction to uh, acid base and indicators so the question is define acids and define bases so acids are substances that dissolve in water to release hydrogen ions and then uh, indicators are substances that give a definite color in acids and a definite color in bases and they help us to determine if a substance is an acid or a base uh, so that's it uh, for this uh, session so that was just the introduction bit of acid base and indicators next we'll be looking at uh, simple acid base and indicators so see you in the next session